Hi, Bucks fans. Joined by a very special guest here this afternoon, goaltender Cameron Rowe, just recently one of six Buccaneers named to the 2020 NHL Central Scouting Final Rankings. North American goaltender ranked for the second year, Cam. And first off, before we talk about that list in the upcoming draft, it looks like it's just a gorgeous day in Chicago right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, there's no wind, so the sun feels really nice. Um, <laughs> it's still only like 45, but it's better than snowing like it did a couple of days ago. So, As we all know as Midwesterners, the temperature isn't what's important this time of year. It, the sun comes out, and like you said, no wind. We'll get out there in shorts and T-shirt and enjoy it. So I'm glad to see you're outside. Have you been staying busy, staying healthy, I hope? Yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of stuff around the house to take care of. I've uh, been working for my dad a little bit, which has been interesting, but it's been fun. Um, no, yeah, keeping busy, it, it, for sure. It, it's weird having all this time, but you do things that you've wanted to do for years, and then once you get it done, you feel so accomplished about yourself. So it's been, it's been good. Well, congratulations on, again, being named to the final rankings. Uh, for you, the second year being on them uh, last year, going to the draft, not being selected. You've talked at length about how that's been a motivator for you and it's helped grow your maturity as a player and as a person. How do you think this year going into the summer with the draft upcoming at some point when the NHL decides to announce that, how do you think your status in your head is going into this draft compared to last year? You know, with the rankings coming out, uh, everyone's so focused on where they land in the list. But I know from my experience personally, it doesn't matter where you are on the list. It matters if you get called or not on game day. You know, like, like I'm very honored to be on the list again, especially my second year through. I know they're more difficult than guys outside of their first year of eligibility. So I, I'm really happy that I'm on the list again because it, you know, it proves that I, you know, I'm at that caliber and people are still watching me play. But, you know, at the same time, I'm not overly excited about it I'm not underly you know I'm not just blowing it off but I'm kind of just in the middle because I know personally for me where I'm at on that list doesn't mean anything until until the draft actually rolls around this summer what are some of the big components of your game that you're focused on before taking your game into Madison Wisconsin next year for the Badgers yeah you know I think that what's difficult now is making that game plan. You know, you don't know when you're skating. So that's for sure tough. I think, you know, right now the challenge is staying in that kind of hockey shape, but at the same time developing stuff off the ice. So just overall flexibility, foot speed, uh, hand-eye coordination, kind of stuff you can do at home. And I think that, that that can translate once we get back on the ice here, hopefully sometime soon. I had the pleasure of calling a bevy of spectacular saves of yours last season. Uh, plenty that I remember very fondly. Are there one or two that when you think about this season come to mind most in uh, the Buccaneer legend of Cameron Rowe? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a legend. Um, it was pretty short, but I remember, I think the one save, you know, after all this has happened, one time that, it really stuck with me it was our second to last game, our first game against Omaha in that weekend. And that second period where it was puck out in front and their guy was sitting back door and I kind of did like a half pad stack paddle down type of thing. And then after that, it was just absolute mayhem. And I think that <laughs> the energy in that arena during that, and then afterwards when I heard it and heard your call, like, I mean, it's giving me chills right now just talking about it. Now Campbell, left circle on his backhand in front. Bradley is alone, and Rowe makes one save and a second. My stars, a couple of bell ringing saves by Cameron Rowe. But the Lancers aren't done. The puck is loose in front. Bradley's behind the net. Rowe is all over the place. The puck hits the post, and it goes through Rowe and somehow stays out. My goodness, it's pandemonium. Rowe is on all fours, and the Bucks get an absolute panic clear to the rounding applause of the Buccaneer faithful. I think that it's that's something that's awesome about Buc Buccaneer Arena that I, I wish I had more experience in in that regard. But, you know, that's something I'm always going to always going to remember. So, well, Rosie, yeah. you mentioned it was short, uh, but undoubtedly the fan base will remember you. I certainly will remember you a long time after 
uh, you finish up with Madison and uh, moving on into what I'm sure will hopefully be a, a very budding pro career for you. But uh, this has been great. Cam, I appreciate you taking time out of your uh, obviously gorgeous day in Chicago to sit down <laughs> with me here. Go enjoy the rest yep. of it. Best to your family and uh, be well and stay safe. Will do. Thanks, you too, Ben.